Here in Jackson, Mississippi, Jackson Police Department and the Capitol Police Department are writing a lot of speeding tickets on I-55 North and South. So I keep getting questions about hiring a lawyer for a speeding ticket. Is it worth it? Before I hired a lawyer to represent me on a speeding ticket, I would do two things. First off, I would show up at my arraignment or my initial appearance, whichever one the court may call it, is the same thing, essentially. And I would talk to the prosecutor. I would say, I would love defensive driving school. That is if I don't have a CDL and I haven't had a moving violation in three years and I can afford to pay the fine and the court cost and the dummy driver school. And I would do that. That'd be the first thing I would do because if you meet those requirements, nine out of 10 prosecutors are absolutely gonna give you that. It is the cheapest, most cost-effective way of handling a speeding ticket, unless you truly believe you were not speeding under any circumstances and you want to go fight. If you do not meet those requirements to go to the driving school, then the next thing I would do, and even if I wanted to fight it, what I would do, call my insurance agent. I have good relationships with my insurance agents. I've always kept good relationships with them. Call them up. Ask what your insurance is going to do over the next three to five years. Make a cost to benefit determination. Is it worth hiring an attorney over here or do I come out cheaper over here paying the ticket, paying the heightened insurance and going out and on my way? 100% would recommend you do that. And if the cost benefit analysis is there for you, absolutely go hire an attorney. If it's not, don't hire an attorney. Because as an attorney, I, I know I'm not cheap. I know attorneys aren't cheap, period. I never want somebody to hire me and walk away thinking they didn't get more value out of me than they paid me in money. I want to give my clients the absolute best outcome and the best service no matter what. And any attorney that's worth a damn wants that. Anytime you do a business transaction with anybody, if you feel like, man, that dude did a great job, he, he treated me fair, got everything done, I'm proud to pay him. He, he was well worth that money. That's what I want for my clients. And if it's not there, don't hire me on it. That's what I tell every one of them. Those are the two things I would do. And if you're absolutely just hell bent on trying a speeding ticket case, give me a call. I love trying them. It's what I started out doing. It's gonna come down to what were they using. Go check out radar, laser, manual clocking. And I've seen a cop one time say that they observed them and they were trained on that. Malarkey, they were not. It, not even gonna get off into that, just bullshit. But that's free legal advice for you. Free real life advice, whatever you wanna call it. If you want more of these videos, you want more information, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and check us out next time we have a Friday chat because I'd love comments to give us ideas of what we can talk about during those and what kind of videos you want to see, what kind of legal issues you're having. Uh, even if it's not criminal defense, let me know. I got great friends that do real estate law. I got great friends that do personal injury law. Uh, whatever you need, I'm interested in, in getting folks some information because uh, I believe that you need information to make educated decisions, and I always want folks making educated decisions about their case. And that is critical. There are a lot of folks that shoot from the hip, and the legal field is not the place to do that. So, until next time, I've got to go and get some sleep. I've got to be on the road at 4 o'clock in the morning. As you can see, I got the last little document there on my printer. I got to throw in that trial bag over there, which I love that trial bag. So, appreciate it. Have a great one.